now on 247victory.com. Something happened. I don't know what happened. I, all I can say is God. And, and I began to, to come up out of my body. It was like an out-of-body experience. But yet I could see still myself. Hmm. So I'm sitting kind of on the ceiling, and I'm looking down, and I can see what I had become. It was as if God sobered me up enough to see wow. what I had become. And I heard two questions. And the first question was, is this the way you want it to end? And the other question was, is, uh, is this the way you want your daughter, Megan, to remember you? Oh, my. And I, and I don't understand, know why those questions came, but God knows why. Sure. And, and he knew what, what, need, he, what he needed to say to get me to move to the place I needed to get to. And it just, and that's when it, it, I came back down to myself. And that's when my life started turning around. I, I got on my knees. And I said, Lord, right by myself, I said, I don't know what just happened. And I know I've taken a lot of pills right now, but I do know that I heard your voice. <laughs> I don't have anything to offer you anymore. Wow. I can't sing anymore. I have no one to sing to. I don't have any money. I don't have anything to offer you. But God made it possible for me to realize that he didn't die for my voice or my ministry. He oh died my. for me. Wow. And he loves me wow. in spite of myself. Wow. And no matter whether I sing another note again, he loves me. Mm. And, and that's when I came home to him and I asked him to please forgive me for everything I've done. I want to change my life and I want to help other people change their lives. For the entire inspirational message, go to 247victory.com.